I'm Dr. Purnam Agrawal and in this short video I'll be explaining you how 5-fluorouracil is going to act as an anti-neoplastic drug. You should know it's an anti-neoplastic drug which acts as anti-metabolite and it's used for various cancer like colon, pancreas, gastric cancer, rectum cancer, liver, bladder, ovary, so it's a very very important anti-neoplastic drug which is used in various malignancies and in this video I'll be explaining you how it is going to affect the metabolic pathway which biochemical pathway is getting affected. So if I want to explain you this particular process I first need to explain you a portion of pyrimidine nucleotide biosynthesis where deoxy UMP is converted to TMP. You know TMP, it's an important component of DNA. So we need to have production of TMP which is going to produce you DNA. It's one of the four nucleotide which is needed for making of DNA. The enzyme which is needed to convert deoxy UMP to TMP is thymidylate synthase enzyme. And this enzyme needs one cofactor, which is N5 which is N5, N10 methylene tetrahydrofolic acid. This after donating the methyl group is converted to dihydrofolic acid. Now when we talk about action of this particular enzyme on the substrate, you should know that there is ternary complex which is formed with this enzyme of the substrate and co-substrate which is methylene tetrahydrofolic acid, this one. This kind of ternary complex formation is very important for making of TMP. So in normal course of action what happens this complex is formed and TMP production takes place. In presence of 5-fluorouracil suppose when exogenously 5-fluorouracil is being provided being given to the patient this 5-fluorouracil is pyrimidine analog which is having fluorine at 5 carbon in place of hydrogen. Normal uracil is having hydrogen at this fifth carbon position but 5-fluorouracil is having fifth car uh, carbon position the fluorine. Now this kind of 5-fluorouracil is first metabolite in the body to make you deoxy fluorodeoxy UMP. This fluorodeoxy UMP again make a ternary complex with the enzyme and coenzyme that is methylene tetrahydrofolic acid. This kind of complex is going to destroy the activity of thymine, thymidylate synthase enzyme because the binding of fluorodeoxy UMP to thymidylate synthase is irreversible and that's not going to dissociate. So the production of TMP is not taking place and of, of course like it's not going to produce you DNA. So this will have anti-neoplastic role. In malignant cell, the DNA is not getting formed in presence of this 5 fluorouracil and the cell division is going to abruptly stop. So this is one of the important mechanism of 5 fluorouracil acting as an anti-neoplastic drug by affecting one pathway of the pyrimidin, one step of the pyrimidin nucleotide biosynthesis, which is hampering the production of TMP and hence the DNA synthesis it has got many other role like uh, other role as well like one role I have told you that after getting converted to 5-fluoro deoxy UMP it is going to make a irreversible kind of um, complex which is going to impair the activity of thymidylate synthase and TMP formation will be affected you should know this 5-fluoro deoxy UMP as such is going to get incorporated into RNA and DNA and that's going to destroy the action of RNA and DNA. That kind of DNA and RNA become, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, it 
is going to affect the action of RNA and DNA because uh, incorporation of TMP is required in DNA, incorporation of RNA, uracil is required. So once this abnormal metabolite is getting incorporated, that's going to have its adverse effect on RNA and DNA functioning. So this short video is explaining you how 5-fluorouracil is acting as an anti-metabolite and anti-neoplastic drug. Thank you very much. You should know the, the enzyme which is affected and it is not direct inhibition of 5-fluorouracil on thymidylate synthase. It's after conversion to 5-fluorodeoxyUMP. It's going to make a complex with enzyme which is going to destroy the action of enzyme. Thank you very much and uh, please like, share and uh, subscribe my channel and you can always put in comment box what other uh, short videos you want to explain you the mechanism of action of drugs or the antibiotics. Thank you very much.